in style sent me this box. Not really sure what's inside, but I am always down for a styling challenge. Okay, looks like we got a pair of jeans. They are a nice skinny flare. I just want to like kick. I'm actually not really sure how to define my personal style. I like one thing at least about all of my outfits to be a little off. I think it, it's a little fun. It makes it uniquely me. I love to pair classic pieces with things that are a little kooky and out there, you know, to keep things spicy. Love bold colors, love fun textures, fun patterns. Love a layered moment, even though I am a sweaty girl, so it doesn't always work out too well, but for the look, I'll do it. I was a little anxious opening the box because I was like, what's going on here? What do we got going on? I liked them. Like, it made me think of the 70s. They're from Madewell. They are a nice, skinny flare. I'm loving the wash of these jeans. It is called the Calvino wash. And I think it's that perfect in between newness and lived in realness that you're always looking for in a pair of jeans. Most of my jeans are light wash, black, or white. So like I did have a little moment of being like, okay, what do we do with her? I like to try everything on first, just like with a white t-shirt and socks, just kind of just see like what I'm working with. It's not like I've never worn a pair of flared pants before in my life, but it's not something I normally style. Flare has always been such a favorite style of mine because it's so fun. It's so flattering on so many different figures. I mean, I already feel so lean and mean in these. I just want to like kick, ha. For the most part, I don't like to do loose, loose. So given that I had a flared bottom, I was like, OK, I have to go tighter on top. I'm thinking I want to do a corset moment, but it is the dead of winter. So actually, OK, so to start, let's get a good base. A white turtleneck is the perfect base, so I'm not freezing. So I pulled a corset out of my closet, but all I have was like this brown one. Now I'm wondering if this is going to be too plain. My first instinct was to wear a denim shirt with these jeans. It's not really giving me the drama that I'm looking for. I just came up with like a bunch of images and like types of styles I wanted to channel. Like a 70s French girl, like Jane Birkin. I love this top. It's one of my favorite scores of all time. John Paul Gaultier from one of his like sailor collections. I'm actually really liking this. It's very basic. I did think this necklace was a important addition just so it's not too boring, gives me a little bit more personality. I definitely see this as an outfit on the go. So I think a really good piece of outerwear with some really nice layering is the way to go. I also didn't want to veer into costume territory. I'm not mad at it necessarily, but I do feel a little bit Starsky and Hutch in this outfit. So I really went for it with like 70s vibe here. Don't know how I feel about this belt. I need to like marinate and think on it. I added a jacket. I think this is really cool. I'm not sure if this brown on brown, chocolate brown, orangey brown are going together. Because the pants are like nice and skinny, maybe you want something that has some volume up top just so you're not completely um, form fitting head to toe. It's weird, it's fun, it's vintage. I also added this little pearly necklace. That's kind of what makes it fun. Like, why would you wear pearls? Lady on top, cowboy on bottom, but I'm kind of into it. I feel good. I feel really good. I feel cute. So since the jeans have a flare, I wanted to go tight on top. So I have this dress, and it kind of has like that corset silhouette, and it's quite thin, so it was really easy to tuck in. I wanted to add a bit of interest on top, so I went with a layer of three necklaces, and then wanted to keep it going with more gold accessories. There's something about it that really is like easy on the eyes for me. And I also love the shapes that I created. The flare is kind of echoing the way that this belt cinches this shirt. I put these cherry earrings on. They don't totally match, but they also don't totally clash. Feels right up my alley. 
When people think about jeans, they think jeans and t-shirt, sneakers, call it a day. But when you layer things on in a really interesting and thoughtful way, you can add so much more to your outfit. The one word I would use to describe this outfit is easy. Okay, so like functionally, I would say resourceful because I'm wearing a dress as a top. Aesthetically, I would say, we're gonna pretend this is one word and that there's a hyphen in the middle. We're gonna say polished funk. Uh, eclectic? The one challenge I came across when picking out this outfit was what to do with the shirt. You know, these jeans do sit a little higher on my waist, so I wasn't sure if I wanted a tucked in moment or a loosey goosey moment. So as I referenced before, Jane Birkin was like the first thing that came to my head and she wore a lot of button downs. And then I thought about what if I wore something like really big. So I grabbed one of my husband's shirts <laughs> and which I wear a lot, by the way, his closet is my closet. It needed like a little something. It was falling a little flat, but I liked the length. My everyday makeup is typically just like brown eyeshadow, brown eyeliner, because I love like a thick, intense cat eye, and I feel like if I do it in black, it can be a bit too severe, so I always go for a brown liner, but then to bring in this color, I took a blue liquid liner and just put it under my eye. I think it creates a cohesive look without it looking too like, oh my God, she's wearing blue and purple, so now her makeup's blue and purple. I definitely wanted to have like a modern, almost Richard Gere and American Gigolo feel to this. It feels like a dressed up daytime vibe to me, nothing too dressy, but it looks like you put in an effort. It's definitely something I'll wear again. So if you see me in this, no, you didn't. I would definitely invest in a black, colorway or a tan to round it out. I'm a big believer that you like never get rid of your jeans. You save them for when they come back around. It's been fun to figure out how my wardrobe works with a flare. And I think I found more options than I was expecting. I'm getting a lot of inspiration. I would wear this outfit head to toe. I would wear this with a slightly different silhouette maybe. I feel like both of them, I'm like, now I need a trench coat, and now I'm gonna wear a turtleneck under my corsets. <laughs> <laughs> I love Kara's outfit because, you know, you get the drape at the neckline, the painterly print, which is really fun and organic. It feels really wearable, but chic with the high turtleneck. I love Madeline's juxtaposition with the hard lines of the corset belt, with the flowiness of the flare. I think that's a good balance between the two. We all kind of have, like, elements of each other's mm -hmm. outfits, which is really funny, I promise. This was all a surprise, <laughs> even though we look like we we're like collude. gonna go shoot yeah. a holiday card after this. <laughs> One thing I wanna say too is that I love the layering that's going on here. Like this is such a genius way to wear something corsety to work, you know, like throw a turtleneck under it, kind of gives it a more like elevated intentional vibe and it's like appropriate for lots of different situations which you might not feel comfortable with corset to work. I thing. would not. Yeah. <laughs> I have and I would again, but I like it's not for everybody. I think the best part about this challenge was that it really makes you realize that clothes are not intimidating and there's so many options you already have in your closet to style with. Have a little fun with it. Wow.